This is 96.9 FM Parallel Overdrive Devotion with me, Daniel Anunda. I'm going to be, I want to pray for more of your requests today. Um, but before that, I want you to just encourage you with this scripture right here. And um, this is the book of um, Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 32 to 33. Though he brings grief, he also shows compassion because of the greatness of his unfailing love. For he does not enjoy hurting people or causing them sorrow. God is loving. He does not want to harm you, but to show you compassion. He doesn't want to harm you but to show you compassion because his masses never cease. Therefore, when you experience difficult things in your life, when you see suffering in the world, you may be tempted to think that God dislikes you or that he enjoys seeing some people suffer. And that is where you find people saying that this, this, this God, this, it can't be, it can't be God. God who allows pain, God who allows sorrow. It can be. That is not true. God created a beautiful perfect world but people have brought imperfection to the same people humanity became wicked god is heart when he sees how much people suffer it pains the heart of god he has allowed people to make a mess of the world for a period of time but he will not leave it that way forever that is the grace of god the period of grace and we are living in the dispensation of grace this grace is not going to be there forever and that is why people ask questions oh why is it that atheists can come up and just uh, to kind god they would say anything anything about god say this and this and this this is not the old testament we are living in the dispensation of grace is it that god cannot do it god cannot strike and kill he's able to do that but he's a god of his word it is grace grace is sustaining us through this period but a time will come that this grace will not have grace anymore our time will come the bible says should we continue sinning that grace may abound god has given us a time and a period to just focus on our lives to turn back to him because he loves us so much and that is why he's given us this period of grace the dispensation of grace and that is why things will not happen like that as they used to happen in the old testament the grace of god but let's not take the grace of god for granted seek ye while he may be found seek the grace of god while it may be found seek the mercies of god when they can be found seek the face of god when you can find it because a time will come when you will not be able to access the grace of god a time will come when you will not be able to access the mercies of god this is the time and this is the moment because he loves you so much he has given you the opportunity and the moment and the time is now he loves you god will make things right again because he is compassionate and loving but don't take don't take the grace of god for granted this is the time a time is coming that you will regret not having taken advantage of this time and this moment when you still have the ability when you still have the access to god it's not like god is not seeing what is happening he's seeing he's seeing all the all the crazy things that are happening all the wickedness in the world grace grace that is where we are i want to pray for us tonight uh, praise god i'm victoria kindly stand with me in prayer on our family house building project that has told for some years now i have seen my husband struggle to make so to, to make progress but only baby steps also pray for a stable job for my husband who is currently a casual factory worker pray for his destiny all right father lord god almighty we come before you this evening thank you for victoria and the husband jehovah king of glory your word says that 
he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from you i pray for that favor that comes with marriage upon this husband i pray for wisdom to make decisions and jehovah king of glory even for the power to make wealth may you bless the work of his hands may you extend him jehovah king of glory may your favor be upon him and we come against every spirit of stagnation in the mighty name of jesus whatever hexes or vexes that have been spoken against this man and the family we come against it right now in the name of jesus and we bind every powers of darkness we release your power your healing power your power and ability to move forward upon this family in the name of jesus we come against stagnation we come against backwardness in the name of jesus christ and we release this project that before the end of this year there shall be progress in this house there shall be progress in this in in in, in this family in the name of jesus christ father god almighty may you you do what only you can do and come through for this family may you work things out for them may you get them out of despair may you get them out of pain out of disappointment in the name of jesus christ father lord i pray for abundance i pray for overflow in this family in the name of jesus lord we thank you and we give you glory Amen. Praise Jesus. I'm praying for a good bond relationship with my children. Miss Wanjiru, thank you very, very much. Wanjiru, we pray for you. May the Lord God Almighty come through for you. We pray that God Almighty binds you with the cords of love that cannot be broken. The Bible says that two cannot walk together unless they agree. And where there is unity, God commands a blessing. I pray for the union of God in your family. I pray for the unity of purpose in your family. I pray for the unity of God in your family. In the mighty name of jesus with the powers of darkness that are bringing disunity with your children we come against them now in the name of jesus christ we come and pray for the heart of your children to be binded with the heart of you in the name of jesus christ and may the lord god almighty step in and make things possible in the name of jesus christ we pray amen hello i'm millicent kindly i need your prayers to get my own rib and break every yard around my life father god almighty we thank you for millicent presenting millicent before you it is her heart's desire to be found with a man that has a heart that is after your own heart father god almighty i pray for millicent may you may may you help her being located be located i pray for you millicent tonight that do not despair do not be afraid have courage in the lord and the peace of god be upon you because god is faithful and he who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all may he come through for you in your situation may he join you may he lead you to the perfect man the person with whom you will accomplish destiny the destiny and the purposes of god in your life in the name of jesus christ to break every yoke we come against every every vexes and hexes upon your life every word that has been spoken against you in marriage in the name of jesus christ and we open doors for you tonight in jesus name we pray for catherine in the same in the same anointing the lord you will find you will meet catherine at the point of her need in the name of jesus may you provide the husband may you lead her to the right person in the mighty name of jesus somebody that will love her and provide for her and take care of her in the name of jesus christ hello anunda pray for me for restoration of my husband and his father's relationship we pray for this restoration in the name of jesus christ whatever relationship that has been broken and every other relationship in the family those who are not doing well in the relationship in their families i pray tonight may the lord bind you together may the lord bring you together may the lord join you together with the cords of love that cannot be broken and may the enemy be ashamed that you've been brought together in the name of jesus christ father we thank you and we give you all the glory honor and adoration in the name of jesus susan we pray for you uh you're expecting uh, pray for rose who is expecting for her pregnancy to carry to tama rose we're praying for you that you shall carry your pregnancy to tama and nothing shall happen to your child in the mighty name of jesus christ may the lord god be 
before you. May the Lord lead you. May the Lord cover that child by the blood of Jesus Christ. That nothing shall come upon that child. And that child shall grow in wisdom and in stature. It shall bring a blessing to you. Because the blessing of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray and believe. Amen and amen. See you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Good night. And God bless you. Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits.